Beautiful fall weather is here. We have a whole week of it and not many changes coming our way over the next several days. We get that perfect fall feel. Our breezy conditions continue today, but they will be easing tonight and then we're slowly warming up through the week looking for our next front on Friday and we have a beautiful weekend ahead. So what more to say? I guess I could include uh, if we had a perfect forecast one day where we get a nice rain at least, but doesn't really look like this next front is going to bring us a whole lot of rain, but I'll show you more on that in a second. First of all, perfect out side right now kind of cool in the 60s. You can see some upper troughing around here and that's what's creating this north to south kind of flow and we're seeing those clouds building. It's a beautiful day, but just those small fair weather cumulus clouds moving from the north to the south gently as we head into this afternoon. Temperatures in the 60s right now north and south of the lake and toward the coast and it's breezy. Our yellow numbers are showing the gusts. The white numbers are the sustained wind speeds. So breezy with up to 15 mile per hour winds and gusting to near 30 or so miles per hour. Moving through our model here. This is our forecast model going from now. We'll fast forward into this evening and you can see wind speeds coming down a little bit and then by tonight after sunset it will be lower about 5 to 10 or so mile per hour winds. Today almost perfect, especially if you like it a little cool, staying in the 60s all day, topping out barely around 69 or 70. Then this is our hour by hour forecast through this evening. We will be dropping through the 60s and tonight we're looking for 40s north of the lake again and south of the lake 50s. And again, those winds will be subsiding heading into this evening and tonight. Here's our setup. We have surface high pressure out to the northwest, keeping us cool and dry. Once it shifts to the east on Wednesday, that will bring in those southeast winds, helping to warm us up a little bit. But here's our next front, and I've paused it here. This is Thursday night and actually very early Friday morning, just before sunrise. The front's moving through. There's some rain, but just not quite over our part of Louisiana. It might be a little bit farther to the east where there are some showers with this front. We may get a couple of showers late Thursday into Friday but I kept the rain chance pretty slim at about 10 or 20%. Still just continuing with fairly dry air here. And then this will set us up for a nice weekend. It's not a super strong front, but it will be very pleasant for all our weekend activities. And we have tons of them coming up this weekend. Our high temperature forecast will be bringing our temperatures into the lower 80s for Friday. But then for the weekend, lots of stuff going on. Of course, we have, the, for example, the crew of Boo Parade, Marigny and French Quarter temperatures dropping from the 70s into the 60s. Super comfortable feel like we often get for crew of Boo weather. And then we also have the Food Truck Fest. You'll see some WWL people out at this. This is a an event out at Kenner Lake Town, Sunday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Lots of food trucks and other things happening out there at Kenner Lake Town. Temperatures in the 70s, perfect weather. Might be a really fun thing uh, to think about going to. Our eye on the tropics, we are rid of Sean. Sean has dissipated. There's one more wave out in the uh, Atlantic Ocean. It has a low chance of developing in the next couple of days and actually the seven day potential for development the National Hurricane Center has brought down. There's a lot of wind shear in this part of the Atlantic, especially once it gets toward the Caribbean Sea. Either Either way though, whether it develops or not, you can see our model showing the low pressure centers in the two colors. Green is the European model, red is the GFS model. Kind of gets toward Caribbean islands, the Lesser Antilles, turns to the north maybe. Uh, different timing, but it doesn't look like this one will be getting anywhere near us. So if it gets a name, it would be Tammy but not a threat for our part of the world at all. And we may just see some rain potentially for some of those Caribbean islands toward the end of the week. We'll see, but seven day forecast showing our temperatures going up toward the end of the week, backing off a little bit for the weekend. Enjoy this cool, pleasant, perfect fall feel this week.